Hey, I'm going to recreate so-called word bass, which is used a lot in old school jungle music and in early dubstep music. Here's the bass. So let's start from the default preset. And the main idea of this warp bass is to take some square wave and apply modulation to the filter cutoff with a really slow rise and slope. And we can find exactly this square wave in our default preset and it's called basic waves. I will quickly remind you that basic waves is about square sound which morphs to the soul sound. For our bass we probably will stick to the default square wave. Let's set this knob to the zero. And the next knob here is about changing pulse width of the square wave. Let's set it to the default value at the moment and we can change it later. And the last orange knob here is about adding sub bass to the sound. We actually don't need to use it at all. We will just move two octaves down to this harsh sound. Next, let's move to the envelope section. I will suppose that this bass will be used together with a kick. So probably we need to clear some initial space for this kick punch at the start. I will set 70 milliseconds. I will keep sustain up and set decay pretty short to about one second. This filter amount knob will stay at zero. Now let's go to the main section of the sound, which is modulated cutoff. We will modulate it with cycling envelope section in envelope mode. And let's apply the cycling envelope to the cutoff with the matrix. So let's find the cross section cycling envelope and cutoff and set the value to maximum 100. Now move cutoff dead left and probably apply some rise to about 200 with something. And you can already hear this distinctive sound. Let's add some fall to the sound with about 150 milliseconds. And also I will add some sustain, 30%. So after rising and fall, we will still have some sub bass. And you can control the amount of this modulation with this knob. This is too harsh, probably let's stick to about 65. And here's the carry ingredient to our bass, which is resonance band. Let's set this resonance knob at pretty high value to about 70%. It will add this distinctive gua 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 sound. By the way, this sound and this one used a lot in UK grime music. But let's stick to our bass. And after adding some resonance band to the sound, the preset is actually ready to play. But there are some stuff we can add more, like a glide setting. Let's set it 70 milliseconds. Also, this bass is sound really cool with some delay, so I use this zoom pedal to add some delay and some reverb. And to add some fatness to the sound, I use this bass guitar preamp tone hammer. It also sounds really fun with Summer Pigator. I 
hope you find this tutorial helpful for you. Peace.